Woo, it's a windy day today, guys. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Today we're gonna be moving our baby chicks out from their brooder, which is inside our shop, and into our mobile coop right here. So come along as we teach you a little bit about raising chicks, about our mobile coop design. I think it's probably a one-of-a-kind design. Uh, we'll also link to the build of this coop at the end of the video, so in case you're curious about how this was made, this is version two. We'll be building version 3.0 Later this year so if you're not subscribed to the channel please jump in here and subscribe it's just a great time here on the stony ridge farm so let's get busy without further ado we're going to hook the side by side to this mobile coop we're going to pull it out of the cow pasture and over here in front of our house all right Woo! i ain't afraid to work i ain't afraid to play i ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way i ain't afraid of life times like this so once again guys if this is your first time to the stony ridge farm channel welcome this is an awesome place to be we learn a whole lot of stuff we have a little bit of fun with equipment and tractors and all kinds of things we homestead we farm we tour farms and we have a good time what we're going to do right now is i'm going to grab this coop and you're going to see just how lightweight it is this is pvc drain pipe with tin on it custom ordered tin if you look around your local area you'll find out that you can custom order your metal your sheet metal or your tin to size so however you want to make it we're going to talk about this coop and we're also going to talk about version 3.0 version 3.0 is going to be awesome it's going to be a little bit more insulated to keep the heat down on the birds in the middle of the summer so let's grab it i'll show you how light it is and the easiest way to haul this long distances is not dragging it we'll just throw it over the ball on the side by side here and we'll pull it right on down in front of the house what we have here is just a rope i'm a big fella my wife can move this she's about five foot two and weighs about 105 pounds and she can move it this is a handle that's designed for pulling this mobile coop pretty cool huh pretty handy so we'll hook up the side by side this is our cub cadet side by side we're going to hook up to it pull it down here in the yard It's just as simple to tow and move. We'll pull this guy up just a little bit, lay this right over top of the hitch right here, the ball, and we'll pull it across the farm. All right, guys, what we're doing here is just slowly dragging this. We're about three miles an hour, not breaking any speed records. Really cool setup. to pull this to a safe place where we can start moving our birds and we'll move our birds either every day or every other day here on the farm until they're ready to go in the chicken mobile and you'll see that being built in a future video also we're going to get these guys out here i have them fairly close to my house because we don't have any livestock guardian dogs yet once we get livestock guardian dogs we'll be able to move these guys way across the pasture over there and move them in behind the cows. So this right here is an awesome way for you to fertilize your yard without having to put any chemicals on your yard. So in other words, all we do is put chicken feed in there and out the butt of the chicken comes awesome fertilizer and it makes our grass green and it makes it pop. Now we are just in March here, early March, and we're gonna start seeing a lot of grass growth right here. So this is the mobile coop. We're gonna walk around it a little bit once I start getting birds inside of it. Here we go. So this coop is around a 12 by 10, and in that tote right there, that's kind of my little transport uh, box for the baby chicks. They've been in the garage in here in the shop and the brooder is just too heavy for me to pick up. So what we're going to do is open this up and these birds will either fly out or I'll just gently set them out into the coop here. Now again this coop is 10 foot by 12 foot and it's all constructed out of four inch drain pipeline. So it's not schedule 40 heavy duty, it's the light duty drain pipeline. So it's all about conserving weight and keeping the chickens in the shade okay we love our baby chicks on our farm we love the fact that we can let them loose and eat grass and live naturally and pick up some of the debris off of the ground here to get grit in their craw we're also going to go to the creek and get a shovel full of sand sandy grit and we'll put it in here in a tray so that these birds have access to it now we're going to take the lid off i'd imagine some birds will start flying pretty quick for those birds that don't want to fly and chickens are a little skittish we'll just set them out nice and gentle very cool so these are again from murray mcmurray hatchery 
These are red sex link laying hens. These are all female birds. And the white ones are white leggings. And the white leggings are quite skittish compared to the red sex links. So they'll figure out that they can get out. We'll just tip this over just a little bit and these guys will come right on out. There you go, guys. Birds of a feather, remember, they're gonna flock together, so they'll follow each other wherever they wanna go. If you have one bird alone, <laughs> it will fight like crazy to get back inside this coop. Typically, this is what we'll raise our meat birds in from about the two and a half week mark. Oh, we got a, we got a baby chick buried under here. So from about the two and a half week mark, we'll leave our meat birds in here. And this is our bird's first chance to see grass. So it's interesting to see their reaction to grass. I'm gonna go reload and bring in the next bunch. Again, this will house 50 chicks. This will house 50 meat birds, Cornish cross meat birds, from the time they come out of the brooder all the way through to the time that you process them. It's a very, very cool setup. You do have to move it every single day with the meat birds, but with these laying hens, they won't eat quite as much and they won't poop quite as much, so they won't damage your grass. This is round two of our baby birds, and they're all laying down in here. <laughs> all right, guys, out we go. This is one of the red sex links. They are super duper friendly chickens. So we're putting them out here on pasture, but what we really need to think about is predators. We need to think about what can get to them. So far, I've had this coop in use for two years and I've had no predator issues whatsoever. But every year we do a bit of a checkup and make sure all the wire is good on our PVC coop right here. I'm gonna slide this guy in here and we've already got pre-drilled holes to mount up right there, right there, and right there to mount up our roof system right here. So what this does is it keeps the chicks out of the hot, hot sun, and it keeps most of the rain off of them. Now these are young birds. I've been doing what you call hardening the birds. In other words, you can't just take your baby chicks straight from the brooder where it's 85 degrees and put them out here in 60 degrees and it's going to probably be 36 tonight. You're going to have to harden your birds off. In other words, you have to slowly get your birds used to colder weather. And that's what we've been doing for, I guess, about two weeks now. So we'll turn off the heat lamp. We've actually removed the heat lamp totally from the brooder and these birds are good to go down to 22 degrees which was super awesome i can't say enough about the birds the health of these birds from murray mcmurray hatchery has been absolutely phenomenal they're doing an absolute great job we're going to pull the cub cadet away from what we're working with here and we'll walk you around the coop and kind of show you a little bit of it and uh, we'll link to the video where we constructed this i don't have plans out there so you're going to have to use your imagination until i can get plans uh, the 3.0 version of this coop is going to be a little bit lighter weight. We're going to use two inch pipe and we're going to insulate the roof right here. Now our kitty cats are going to have to get used to baby chicks out here and hopefully they won't bother them too bad. If you're not a very large person, you're not a very strong person and you don't want to have to move this, you can always hook it on to a bumper ball and pull it wherever you want to. I prefer to move it by hand. Sometimes my wife can't pull it up the hill so we'll hitch up to the UTV and pull it up the hill. So there are a few things we need to think about with our birds out here on pasture. The first thing we need to think about is shelter. This is a great shelter for the birds, although it does not protect them from all wind and all rain and or snow. We've had birds out on the snow before too. So when it snows, you're not moving this thing. You just have the patch of grass that the birds are on. Now, chickens are omnivores. In other words, they're scavengers. They'll eat pretty much anything, but they can't survive just on grass. So if you're thinking about pasturing your birds, your either meat birds or your egg layers, you're gonna have to supplement them with a little bit of feed. Now these baby birds, again, they're somewhere in the neighborhood of three to four weeks old. We've moved up and graduated out of the inside brooder, which had this small feeder and this small waterer. We're not gonna get away with that out here on pasture. So we've moved up to a mobile coop feeder like this guy right here. And this is from Brower. I'll post links in the video description. There's also a link uh, I'll post here at the end of the video on how to set up your brooder for your baby chicks. But this is a Brower feeder. 
You can see the feed in there. It's all PVC construction. The way it's designed here is so that the birds can't get their feet in there and dig out the feed. So there's a little lip right there and it's easy to tote because it has a PVC handle right here. Now for our waters, we're going to go with something a little bit different too. This is, I believe a four or five gallon water system and the way it works, it's very easy to tote. It's very easy to move around. Again, this is for mobile coop. So it's easy to move around the lid. You don't have to twist it or anything like that. It just opens up and you take a five gallon bucket and pour your water in there. So good, clean water. Now, Josh, what if it rains? What if this feed gets wet? It's okay. It's okay if it gets wet. Again, your chickens love to eat garbage. They like to eat stuff off the land. So later on, when we start doing meat birds this year, we'll wet our food down. So we'll take our organic chicken feed, which consists of all sorts of kind of powdery ingredients, and we'll wet that food down. We'll actually let it ferment a little bit, and it makes our birds taste just wonderful. They eat less food, they gain more weight, and they drink less water which is a bonus all the way around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this guy over inside the coop. We'll just slide back our piece of tin. I've had no issues with that piece of tin. If you have a lot of predators in your area, we have two German Shepherd dogs on our farm that keep an eye on this stuff. But if you have a lot of predators, you wanna make sure that your birds are protected. Again, we're gonna walk around the coop here at the end of the video, show you a little bit about the construction and show you some spots that we need to address. Folks, I wanna let you know, you can do this on a third of an acre. You don't need a large piece of land to raise your own food and raise your own eggs. If you're tired of eating that garbage from the grocery store, this is the solution right here, okay? So we'll set this guy in where the birds can get to it. That's our feeder. Then we'll set our water right over in here. And we wanna make sure when we put our water in that the spot where the water comes out is facing down the hill. In other words, once water fills up to about right here, that will stop the water flow. If it's facing up the hill, water will never rise up and it'll all run out onto the ground and waste all your hard work. So again, we'll face that down the hill, remove the lid, and it's just as easy as pouring some good fresh water in there. That's a full five gallon bucket of water. It fit in there like a champ. We'll put the lid on right here. Now the birds can't get in there. They can't make a mess. They can't poop in their water and we're set. Also, one more feature of this feeder I gotta show you. So uh, having chickens, they like to get on a high place. They like to roost. This right here, this PVC bar, see how it's rolling, okay? It's designed to keep the birds off. If they get up here, it'll roll and they'll fall off and therefore they can't roost on top of here and poop in their feed. Very important. So that's the mobile chicken coop. That's the chicken tractor. I like to keep the tow rope up out of the dirt if I can. We'll slide this guy back over. We'll reinstall our screws to hold this guy down so that the wind doesn't catch it and blow the roof off of it. So a quick overview of the construction right here. This is just two foot chicken wire. This thing is about 24 inches high and basically we took self-tapping screws, we wrapped it with chicken wire, and we used the self-tapping screws with a great big washer, we'll get a close up in a second, uh, around the outside edge to attach our chicken wire. If we run into a problem, we just put more wire in and twist it up and fix some spots. We got a little torn spot right down there. So this tin, if you Google search, uh, uh, suppliers of metal roofing or sheet metal roofing, you'll find a local person that will make this for you. Basically, it comes in flat sheets. They'll roll it out and cut it just to the size that you want. So if you don't want a 10 by 12 coop, you can build this a little bit smaller. This is not schedule 40. In other words, this is drain pipe. This is four inch drain pipe like you'd go buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. Again, I'll post a link at the end of the video, at the end credits, and you can take a look at this and how it's all constructed. With this lightweight PVC construction you see here, this thing just glides along the edge of the ground. No problem whatsoever. So we've got a T right here. We got a little piece here. We got a T here, elbow, elbow, and that's it. The basis of every corner of this is based on that T, T, elbow, elbow. The other corner is exactly the same way. Now you see a little support right there in the middle. I'll talk about that in a second. And this is how we attached our wire. So we use self-tapping screws with a great big washer. All in all, I'm gonna say this entire coop right here, we have about $220 in it. And so far it's lasted 
two to three years now, and I see no problem with it lasting for another 10 years. Now we do have to look at our wire, make sure our wire is in good shape all the way around. And you can see we've got a problem area right here. Cow might have stepped on that. You can see kind of a hoof mark right there. So we've got to fix that, okay? So we'll get some more wire, we'll twist it up, and we'll fix that guy right up. Pretty cool little coop. There's a little piece of pipe in right here for support. We started getting a little bit of a sag, so if I had to build it again, I would probably put a support right there in the middle. Again, this is 10 by 12. We could make it a little bit bigger and probably house a few more chickens. Now, when it comes to meat birds, we have the meat birds in here for approximately six weeks. They get a little bit crowded and you gotta move them every day for sure. These birds will be okay right here for the next probably three days and then we'll move them to the next spot and they'll leave that good butt fertilizer that we like so much here on the farm. So guys, thank you so much for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please jump in, pound the like button, subscribe to the channel, all sorts of fun stuff going on. Utility vehicle reviews, farming, tractors, all kinds of good stuff here. We're on a 200 acre farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, and we'd love to have you. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids, we're living life here in Sweden. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! All we're gonna do is fix this microphone in my pocket. Keep moving our baby chicks. So you're gonna get a whole lot of... I believe I got dogs.